Good morning Cancer family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and we are going to take a look at what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week, whatever messages want to come through is what you're needing to hear today. Uh, do keep in mind these readings are general so just take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't apply. Uh, we are going to take a look at the recent past, present energies, incoming energies. Then we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of the person that you're thinking of dealing with or connecting to in love and romance in the upcoming week. If you are connecting to the messages, Cancer, then feel free to show your support, guys, by liking, sharing, subscribing, dropping your comments in the comment section below. Um, there's a new special feature button as well, which is the super thanks. It is in the shape of a love heart and it sits next to the thumbs up, thumbs down button. So if you scroll along, you will see it there. Um, I'm a Cancerian myself and this I'm shooting this reading on the new moon in Cancer or just after. And seriously, this moon energy has swiped me. So let me know, Cancer. Um, how has the new moon been for you? Like, do you feel energized or depleted around a new moon? I find sometimes it depends what sign the moon is in because some full moons actually hype me up, especially a full moon in Aries. Like, I just get massive amounts of energy. It's like one of my favorite full moons. Um, but yeah, I have noticed lately that some new moons really take a lot of energy out of me so and just not sleeping well at night so yeah let me know if you're affected as well okay so in the recent past we have the wheel of fortune okay we have the father of cups so water energy cancer scorpio pisces you may have been connecting to another water sign And Ace of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Can you guys see that? The camera is so bad these days. I, I apologize. I'm not the best in setting up cameras. Um, let me just bring it down a bit. So straight away, what I'm seeing here is... There may have been an opportunity in the recent past where things kind of looked favorable in love and it could have been someone new with the Ace of Cups had come on the scene or it felt like someone was offering a, a new beginning, um, a chance to start fresh. I feel with the Father of Cups here that you had strong feelings for this person or you were really keen to start something here, start something here with this individual however circumstances have gotten in the way with the will of fortune this is the card of fate so for whatever reason cancer it just wasn't meant to lift off of the ground okay to me it feels like this relationship or connection just didn't lift off the ground and the reason why i say that is because we've got the four of swords here which tells me one of you stopped talking to the other or, or it kind of just tapered off and just went cold Okay, but yeah, the Four of Swords to me is a card of sort of silence. Um, it's, you know, non-communication, two people not really talking. Um, I don't feel like it's anything bad though. It just didn't lift off of the ground. Okay, we do have the Nine of Cups here as well, which I feel for a lot of you Cancerians, this was a wish. Um that you had desired for yourself uh, but for whatever reason it just tapered off okay yeah this will of fortune something got in the way okay something uh, yeah got in the way of your connection or relationship or even this new beginning lifting off of the ground just got in the way got in the way so let's take a look at the present energies cancer present energies for our Cancerians okay here we go we've got the three of swords and I'm pretty sure you got the three of swords last week but I could be wrong if if 
if I'm right, just let me know in the comments section below. Uh, there's the Six of Cups. So I feel in the present energies, Cancer, you may be missing this individual. Or maybe this person is missing you. Okay. Um, however, with the Three of Swords, it would tell me here that someone's feeling heartbroken and hurt and disappointed and let down. Okay. The Three of Swords tells me that this is a wound as well. So... Um, We've got the Mother of Wands there, and at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Magician. Mm. With the Mother of Wands, uh, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel you're both attracted to one another, okay? The Mother of Wands is Attraction Energy. So I feel uh, there is an attraction here for the both of you, but uh, someone in the present is currently closed off. This serpent, this mother of wands, she's very protective of these three eggs. So someone's feeling very guarded here in the present energies. Now with the magician here, it could be... Um, sometimes the magician can represent manipulation. So there could be someone here feeling like they're trying to manipulate you or they're probably feeling you're manipulating the situation. Okay, but the magician to me, it's like a, I don't trust what I'm feeling or I don't trust what I'm seeing here. Okay, they could, they could literally, it could feel in the present energies there's a mistrust. You know, because the magician plays tricks, mind, mind games. Um, so in the present energies, this person could be coming off as, you know, they're interested with the empress. Look at this, the empress and the emperor. They could be making you feel like you have this special connection or it could really go somewhere. But I'm not trusting that the magician is here. I'm sorry, Cancer, I'm just not trusting. It's like, yeah, mind games, playing tricks, illusions. Can I trust my feelings? Can I trust this person? Let's take a look at the incoming energies. Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have for Cancer? In regards to the incoming energy. So we've got the world card. We have the six of pentacles. And we have the eight of pentacles. Okay. And we have the daughter of swords. Hmm. Air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel cancer in the incoming energies that there may be someone here that you just cannot get off your mind. You, you might be spying on this person or just checking in on them or checking up on them. Maybe just checking to see what they're doing. With the world card here, I feel like there is a distance here or you could be connecting with this individual online. Okay, I don't feel like there is a face-to-face -face meeting. I don't feel like you'll be seeing this person in the incoming energies. I feel more um, that you're sort of watching them from afar or you're observing them from afar. And I say you because the Mother of Cups is here, okay? I feel you are wanting a relationship here that is... Equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. And I feel more for you that this is one-sided. Now, with the Eight of Pentacles, tells me here that you're willing to maybe work on this or rebuild this connection. Hmm. Or it could be, like I've seen this spider web, you could be feeling trapped. And like trapped as in 
like mentally trapped. Like you can't let this person go mentally. You keep constantly thinking about them. It's like your thoughts keep going back to this person. Wondering, contemplating. The Daughter of Swords is a card of curiosity. So the mind keeps going back. Okay, there's a thought here that keeps you trapped. So let's take a look at your energy cancer now um, and see what other messages want to come through. Sorry, the cards moved. We are going to take a look at the animal spirit cards. Um, some are upside down. I don't know why. Goodness knows why, but um, I'm not taking reversals here today. So spirit angels and guys, what messages do you have in regards to cancer this week? What is it that our cancerians are needing to know? How's the view on the camera? Okay, what messages do you have for our cancers? Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, if it is resonating thus far. Okay, so the upward pointing triangle with a line through it represents air energy. So again, you know, heavy mental energy here uh, or just being in your mind or in your thoughts. For some of you, um, you feel very attracted to this person and it could literally be that they're an attractive person and um, that's what you're like, you can't let that go or there's something about this person's looks. Yeah, look at that, the shark, water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Oh, look at this, otter. Ah, so I feel when it comes to your thoughts, Cancer, um, the butterfly is an energy of someone who comes in and comes out. So I'm being called here to kind of just whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them go. OK, try not to hold on to anything or overthink anything this week, which I feel that there is a tendency to do because you've got the shark here. Okay, to me, the shark is, can smell a wound. And I, I'm just sort of like linking this back to the Three of Swords. Okay. I don't know, with this otter cancer, there's an element or a side to you that would still let this person back in because the otter is very playful um, the otter is coming across as very kind and friendly okay you would still like to be friends with this individual or maybe you're just contemplating um, friendship it's like I'd rather have this person in my life as a friend than nothing at all. But again, the shark tells me here um, it's not, mm, I'm just trying to think of the words and my mind is a bit cloudy. Um, it, it wouldn't be coming from the best place. Okay, because the shark is predatory energy. So I would invite you, Cancer, to maybe think about if being friends with this person would be in your best interest overall. And, and that's just because you've got a kind nature. You've got a beautiful nature. You've got a beautiful soul. Let's take a look at this other person's energy the person that you're thinking of or connecting to again cancer i just want to apologize for my lack of energy here today um, hopefully it's not too annoying or disruptive let's take a look at the energy of your person okay camel 
fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is very independent, Cancer. Okay, fire energy, fire people to me are very independent. Okay, they like their freedom. They like to do things their way. And the camel has a mo like water stored in its hump. So it's like this person has everything they need right now. Um, they're not really in lack. I don't feel like this person is in lack. I feel like this person is quite content with where they're at in their life. I don't feel like this person is looking for anything serious right now, Cancer, I have to say. Um, we do have the Nightingale here, upward pointing triangle with the line through it. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the fish. So you could be connecting to a Pisces as well. Yeah, there's something off with this person, okay? Something just doesn't sit right. Something just doesn't feel right with this fish because fish to me can, it's like a stinky smell. Um, so something just doesn't feel right with this person, okay? Something's just off. Maybe they're out of alignment or just their, their energy is like off. And you may be sensing that. Okay, because look at this, you're the shark and they the fish. And what does sharks do? They can eat fish. They eat fish. So you're sensing something off about this person. Now, this nightingale, this is a clear message. Um, but I'm getting that this person is talking to other people, possibly at night. Okay, so this person ha is conversing with others at night. Okay, this person's got a lot to say. I feel like they're having a lot of conversations with maybe many different people at night. Um, what, what's that saying? Um, fishing in a different pond or something. So like what's that dating site called? Plenty of Fish. So this person could be like talking to different people on that Plenty of Fish website, dating site. Um mm. To me, the fish is representative of many fish. There's plenty of fish in the water. <laughs> so I feel like um, you're not the only person this person may be talking to. I feel like they're talking to many other different people as well. You know, just sussing out their options, just keeping their options open, maybe playing the field. This person's just in player mode. Yeah, playing the field. Okay. All right, let's just grab some advice. Let's grab some advice, Cancer. What's our advice for our beautiful Cancerians? Don't forget to show your uh, support, Cancer, if the messages thus far are resonating. Ooh, we've got the Three of Wands. So the advice here in this card would be, Cancer, seriously, don't wait. Don't wait for this person. Don't waste your time waiting for this person to come towards you. Okay, because you could be waiting for a really long time here. We've got the world here, you know. Who knows when this person reaches out or makes contact with you. But I feel that you're being called to sort of go and seek, go and find whatever else is out there for you. I feel like you are being pulled to move or take action here. Um, I feel this week that you may be making some decision to move on as well. Okay, so there we have it, Cancer. That's your reading. Hopefully that was helpful. And until next time, take care, my loves.